Have you heard about what ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood just said about Bitcoin? On a new episode of ARK Invest in the Know podcast, she called Bitcoin a flight to safety asset as the world economy becomes increasingly disrupted. She likened the digital asset to gold, acknowledging the fact that it is a haven during hard economic times. But now, it's a pity that Bitcoin's role as a protective armor is about to fizzle. Too bad. The future of Bitcoin is anyone's guess, but in 2021, a particular expert warned that the world's most popular cryptocurrency could fade out in the near future, and this caught the attention of everyone. This expert, Eswar Prasad, a senior professor in the international trade policy at Cornell University, said in an interview, Bitcoin itself might not last that much longer. While there used to be just a handful of cryptocurrencies, currently there are hundreds and some of them are more useful and environmentally friendly than Bitcoin. Now, blockchain technology is the underlying technology behind most cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin use of blockchain technology is not very efficient. The cryptocurrency uses a validation mechanism for transactions that is environmentally destructive and doesn't scale up very well, Prasad said. Prasad believes that given Bitcoin does not serve well as a medium exchange, it is not going to have any fundamental value other than whatever investors' faith lead it to have. According to him, cryptocurrencies have lit a fire under central banks to start thinking about issuing digital versions of their own currencies. Bitcoin has indeed been on a wild rise since its creation in 2009. In 2021, the price of one Bitcoin surged to over $60,000 with an eightfold spike. Then it fell to half that value in just a few weeks, thereby damaging the wild expectations of investors. The values of other cryptocurrencies such as Dogecoin has risen and fallen even more sharply often based on tweets from Elon Musk. This entire situation simply begs the question, are cryptocurrencies the wave of the future? The past is not quite impressive, so how much more the future? But take a closer look, the emergence of Bitcoin amid a global financial crisis that shocked trust in banks and governments was perfectly timed. Bitcoin was like a savior which emerged to save the investment world from the cruel shackles of torture. Those were the good times. Bitcoin enabled transactions using only digital identities granting users some degree of anonymity. However, this made the cryptocurrency the preferred currency for illegal activities. As it grew in fame, Bitcoin became complicated, slow, and expensive to use. Its unstable value also made it an unviable medium of exchange. While Bitcoin has failed in its stated objectives, it has become a speculative vehicle. According to Bitcoin devotees, the coin's value comes from its scarcity. Bitcoin's computer algorithm mandates a fixed cap of 21 million digital coins. However, scarcity can hardly be a source of value, and Bitcoin investors seem to be dependent on greater full theory. Thinking about the odds, what will happen to the crypto kingdom if the king Bitcoin is gone? It will definitely be a tough pill to swallow. But while everyone is busy eating their humble pies and waiting for the eventual fate of Bitcoin, Anthony Scaramucci has some conflicting opinions. Skybridge CEO Anthony Scaramucci has not lost any enthusiasm for Bitcoin, regardless of the knocks and attacks he has taken from the crypto market. During a recent interview, he said, I'm not a cold figure in this space. I'm not an evangelist. I'm not one of these religious figures that is going to chant Bitcoin Uber Ales no matter what's going on in life. So I want to frame it from that perspective and then tell you that I am more bullish now than I have ever been. Recently, he has been up against some strong headwinds. When Sam Bankman-Fried's crypto exchange FTX filed for bankruptcy in November, he had become personally acquainted with Scaramucci. They partnered to host the Crypto Bahamas conference in April 2022, and in September, FTX acquired a 30% stake in Skybridge for $40 million. So when everything went south, Scaramucci told CNBC that he was working to buy the equity back. Right now, his gaze is fixed on Bitcoin's next boom cycle and hopes that regulators can get out of the way. According to him, Bitcoin has started accumulating interest from a wider audience from late 2021 to the end of 2022. He explained, Prior to that, there was some sort of microbrewery known as Bitcoin, and people liked the beer that was coming out of the microbrewery. And then all of a sudden, it had this Budweiser light distribution explosion where everyone in the world and their mother was talking about Bitcoin. Scaramucci has harsh words for regulators, especially the SEC chair Gary Gensler. None of the stuff he does makes sense to me. He's got the SEC in complete disarray, he said. Referring to Elizabeth Warren, he acknowledged that she had been acting as Washington's shadow president for financial services. Scaramucci's point of solace is that at least Bitcoin is categorized as a commodity and not regulated by the SEC, which has been on the hunt for securities. I think it feels like money to me and feels like a commodity. I think these things that earn or you have these staking positions where foundations give you more of something, I think anything that has an earning mechanism is probably a security, he added. Also, Kathy Wood has risen to defend Bitcoin. 
It looks like everyone has something to say about the cryptocurrency on a positive note though. But it's outrageous to think that these compliments could stop Bitcoin from disappearing into thin air. In a podcast, Wood admitted that Bitcoin as a risk on asset is asking like a flight of safety, and it's a theme worth watching out for. She said the same thing for the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap Ethereum. We think a lot of innovations out there are going to be a flight to safety. Why? Because they are going to disrupt the traditional world order. What are Bitcoin and Ether doing? I mean, by the very fact that they are being considered flight to safety like gold, that's really interesting and suggests a much broader based adoption and acceptance than I think most people understand, she said. Kathy Wood then went ahead to reiterate that there is a flight to safety led by crypto assets and its people that the world is transforming and will continue to transform. You can't stop innovation, she added. There will only ever be 21 million bitcoins. Once they're all mine, no new bitcoins will enter circulation. Perhaps this is the bitter truth everyone needs to come to terms with. From the start, the bitcoin blockchain was designed around the principle of controlled supply. But that doesn't mean that bitcoin is just going to disappear just like that. On the flip side, despite their high valuations on paper, a collapse of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is unlikely to rattle the financial system. Banks have mostly stayed on the sidelines, as with any speculative bubble. Newbies who come late to the party are at the greatest risk of losses. So the government is right when it is cautious to retail investors that they act at their peril. Whatever Bitcoin's eventual fate, is blockchain technology, which has been partially ignored in the crypto sector, is truly groundbreaking, and is worth being celebrated. Bitcoin has done so much and has shown how programs running on networks of computers can be harnessed to securely conduct payments, within and between countries, without the aid of avaricious financial institutions that charge high fees. While Bitcoin's wild price moves garner attention, its revolution in money and finance has set off more consequences that will ultimately affect everyone, for better or for worse. While this may sound like some tear-filled departure words, it is a deep reflection of what the world of cryptocurrencies has birthed. It started with Bitcoin and it was the perfect timing. While this asset emerged, it was truly worth it, but unfortunately it got caught in the web of the undying nature of cryptocurrencies, which is volatility. Now this is really sounding like parting words for the dead, so let's get a grip on our emotions. Bitcoin just climbed over $30,000, which implies that there is still more to expect. Just in case you have tears trickling down your face, it's okay to wipe them now. Whatever is going to kill Bitcoin, whether it's from stiff regulations or thin speculations, the crypto world has become a formidable foe. In a way, we've learned our lessons and nursed our losses. For now, let's tie our expectations to what crypto is growing to become, especially Bitcoin, as we sit here and wait and anticipate the next boom cycle. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click on the subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.